Let's get Sales Copilot turned on so your sales teams sell more. Plus, make sure you stick to the end for a bonus tip to take Sales Copilot to the next level in Outlook. Roll the intro. So before you can add Sales Copilot into Outlook, you need to make sure you have the right licenses. So you're gonna either need to have the Microsoft 365 for enterprise license or the Office 365 for enterprise license. If you have either one of those licenses and you are an administrator for your tenant, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is navigate to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Then once you're there, you're gonna to navigate to the left-hand side and you're gonna find Settings. Then under Settings, you're gonna select Integrated Apps here. Then once you do this, you're gonna select Get Apps just to the right. And when you click this, this is gonna bring up the window where you can add apps to your tenant in what's called the browser apps window. So now we're going to find the sales copilot app. So go ahead and search that in the search bar. And after a couple seconds, it's going to bring up the sales copilot in Microsoft Outlook. So now that you can see this, let's go ahead and select get it now. Select get it now. After a couple different loading screens, it's going to bring you to this screen here. This is going to show you that the sales copilot is going to be available for Microsoft Outlook and Microsoft Teams. As Copilot is still in preview, this is currently not available for Teams at this time of recording, but this is going to be where you would enable that, and then the process of doing so is going to be nearly identical. But let's go ahead and move on. So we're gonna go ahead and select Next so that we can get this enabled for Outlook today. Then you're going to have to assign users, and for our example, we're gonna select the entire organization if you wanted to note that only certain users would have Copilot in Outlook, then you would have to select those users here. Let's hit next. Then on the next screen, you're gonna have to accept the permissions after you have signed in and given it your credentials, assuming you're an admin. Once you have done this, you're pretty much done setting it up from an administrator perspective. So let's go ahead and jump through the rest of these screens and then hit finish deployment here. So now it's gonna bring you to a loading screen where it's gonna say that it is getting this app added to your tenant and is in progress. There was a message that I saw that said this could take up to several hours, but for me it only took a few minutes. But after a few minutes, it should now bring you to this screen and show you that it has now been successfully deployed. If you navigate back to this screen here, it's going to show you that Sales Copilot app has been successfully deployed to the host products of Outlook and Teams. So as an administrator, this is all you need to do, but now you need to instruct each individual user to go add the Sales Copilot add-in into their Outlook. Let's go ahead and show you how they would do that now. So now we are here in Outlook to show you the process of how you're going to add the Sales Copilot add-in to your Outlook as a user, say a sales representative. Now that you're in Outlook, you're going to see this Get Add-ins button in the ribbon. It should be on the top right and selecting Get Add-ins is going to open up the Add-in Browser window. So now you're gonna to have to search for the Sales Copilot in the search bar. Eventually, this is gonna bring up the Sales Copilot for Microsoft Outlook. Once this is pulled up, go ahead and select Add. And now the Sales Copilot Add-in is officially added to your Outlook and able to be used. This process feels very similar to adding a Chrome or an Edge browser extension. Now that this is added though, I just wanna take a few seconds to show you how this is gonna automatically generate email replies for your sales teams in Outlook. So go ahead and navigate to an email record and then select the three dots on the right hand side and this is gonna bring up a drop down window where you're gonna be able to now select the sales copilot here. The first time you select this, it's gonna have you sign in to copilot and select the environment, give it your credentials. For this example, I'm using D365, so I'll select that and hit get started. Now, whenever a user selects Copilot in the future, it's just going to direct them to this window. They're not gonna to have to sign in every time, thank goodness. So let's go ahead and create an automatically generated email reply to this email I got here. Sales Copilot in Outlook is gonna give you different prompts. And so we're gonna say that for this example, we're gonna be making a proposal to this email. So if I click the Make Proposal prompt, it's going to automatically draft a message for me to send. Let's say after reading this message, I want to adjust it in a certain way. If I navigate down to the bottom and click this adjust button, you can actually change the tone of your message. So say we want the message to be a little more friendly. We can do that by selecting friendly and then hit update. 
This is going to regenerate the message in a more friendly way using maybe more friendly vocabulary, more friendly punctuation and grammar. You can also have it use a formal tone. So say this was a more formal event or a formal proposal, or that's how we operate business is, is in a formal way. So now we have a formal proposal for this email here. Let's say we like this formal proposal and this is what we want to send to the customer. You can actually copy the content with this button here in the bottom left. And then if you navigate to the reply button on your email, we're just going to have to click in the email body and paste what we copied. And this is going to bring our formal email that was drafted by Copilot into this draft. And now all we have to do is hit send. There's one additional tip that I'm going to recommend for everybody that's using sales copilot in outlook, and that is going to be bringing it and pinning it next to the reply button. So here we are once again, looking at the sales copilot add in, and this screenshot shows that you can do this so you can access copilot faster without having to dig through the drop down. So if we go to an email record and select the three dots, once again, just past sales copilot, you're going to find the customize actions. If you select customize actions, then you can see that the sales copilot add on is in this list. If we go ahead and check it and hit save and then exit out of the screen, you can see that the sales copilot widget, so to speak, is now added into the quick email actions. Copilot is bringing some absolutely mind blowing features into Dynamics and now Outlook and Teams, one of which being automatically generating case summaries for you in customer service. Want to know more? Well, guess what? I'm going to tell you in this video here. Thank you guys for sticking to end the video. Let me hear your thoughts on Copilot in the comments down below. My name is Griffin Lickfeld. Thank you guys for sticking to end the video. We'll see you in the next one.